hello friends um, <clears throat> today uh, i'll be uh, going to explain you about uh, fiery security so i'll be making uh, videos related to fiery security and uh, completely from scratch and i'll first uh, so today's session will be about the overview of fiery security you will not have much of the technical things it will be just the overview of fiery security so first of all i'll let you know what fiery is and uh, why did that concept came okay so let me start so first of all before explaining what is fiery i have to explain a few things so uh, there were some systems called ecc okay ecc and now you can see there are people are calling it as do you know because i have seen many of the people saying that uh, do you know sap s4 hana okay so i'll just write so what's the basic difference between ecc and sap s4 hana so the first thing i want to tell you that there is no much of a difference between ecc and s4 hana except few things not much of a difference as per uh, authorizations okay so in ecc also you will create a roles in s4 hana also it's based on the roles only so in ecc mainly you have a database uh, you can it it it's like in ecc you was able to, you were able to use any kind of database okay but in s4 hana it's not like that it's uh, they have their own database sap introduced their own database and it is called hana db so whenever this erp system is merged uh, is merged to sap s4 they used hana database because of that it's called suit 4 okay this is fourth version or the higher version the upgraded version of ecc that's it nothing much so but in ecc you were using any kind of database okay any db like uh, whatever oracle usually i have seen many people will be using whenever they have ecc system there will be this oracle database they will be using and i'll also tell you what is sap hana what's the difference between sap hana okay hana is nothing but don't confuse between this and this hana is just a database system it's just a database system okay which will be used and you have a concept of sap hana db security also you have that concept also so wherever sap provides any softwares like sap mdg sap hana database effect sap fiery anywhere security is important because of that everywhere you will have something called security so sap s4 hana is like it's a real time data analytics tool and you'll be doing it's like a production system like ecc only hana is not like that it's they usually uh, it's just a database like you have uh, sql database those kind of database it's just a database so you can create queries or you can create stored procedures those things you can do here so these are the main differences between these three so coming to only these two now so in ecc the role concept is same in hana also it's the same when it will be changed is when fiery concept is introduced in sap has for hana okay so in sap s4 hana if a product called fiery is introduced okay think like what's difference between fiery security so fiery is nothing but it's just the user interface okay only because of usually whenever any user logs into the system or does do anything if i open any if I, if i open the fiery system okay so if i open this fiery system mm see this is our fiery system usually nothing nothing else in ecc also you will come and execute the t code in s4 hana also you will come and execute the t code what what is new in fiery means you will have something called you will not do the things in this gui screen this is called gui sap gui okay gui log on pad 
so usually whenever end users or any customers who are doing who are using our sap system uh, sap system usually they will be executing any t codes if they want to create any um, if they want to create any uh, material they usually come to this they execute the t code and they uh, create the, their things they do their task so this will be done in gui system what fury is because of user experience sap was uh, very much concentrated on user experience and they introduced a concept of fury in 2013 so earlier in 2013 they introduced uh, just 25 apps okay just for 25 apps and they started what they did they started designing the designing new apps what they did they empowered they they took feedback from the business like what how the user experience should be all those feedback and they started designing and now we have almost lot of apps 1000 plus apps in fury apps library i'll show you uh, through which website you can log in uh, see those apps and all so that's the only difference here you will be logging into gui system whenever fury is implemented in your s4 hana system you will be logging into this web based application this is what nothing this is what fury is nothing else so here the role concepts it will you all you should even in order to uh, in order for user to get access you have to create roles only okay but here you will be adding the apps instead of t codes user will be executing the applications instead of t codes okay that's the only difference t codes converted to applications okay they'll directly executing the applications but in the back end those applications are again they have the authorization objects only nothing else there is nothing uh, big deal in this okay so this is what sap fury is it's just ui based web application that's it okay uh, the role concept how to create roles what are the different types of things in fury security uh, we have something called catalogs groups spaces and pages which was introduced recent uh, recently uh, groups were used uh, they are deprecated at the 2021 uh, after 2021 s4 and 2021 release so you i'll i'll explain you about all the things in uh, um, upcoming sessions but as of now this is what sap fury is uh, i just want to show you the fury apps library also you just go to any screen and just mention sap fury apps library okay so you'll get the first option here just click on that so once you click on this you will be it's just loading so you will be taken here you can see all apps just click on that whatever you want any apps if you want see if you don't know the thing mm01 what i executed earlier see this is nothing but mm01 only in a kind of application okay and here you'll get everything each and every detail how it should be implemented in the system how it should be installed what are the front end components what are the back end components that should be segregated i'll tell you about what is app launcher what is target mapping technical catalog business catalog spaces and pages so i'll be explaining you about everything as of now this is uh, i'll just open one application thing it has asset accountant or something related to that so okay i'll take this asset weaver okay so see in every version you'll have what are the things needs to be installed and all their related stuffs here okay so when you call a system so i'll explain you about there are two things how fury can be introduced in your um, sap uh, one thing is you have something called 
embedded system systems and you have something called central hub so whenever you give any interviews about that usually um, interviewers will ask whether you were using embedded system if if you tell that you have have experience on fiery then definitely they'll ask you which system were you using embedded or central hub so central hub and embedded is nothing much nothing like see is this as of now i am using embedded system so i'll show you what embedded and central hub means so you can go on systems click on status and if you click hit click here see install product sure product versions okay see you can see sap fiery fes for s4 hana and sap fiery for s4 hana okay so this is our uh, s4 hana system and inside this system only we have installed these two products so because of that this became an embedded system why because both fiery product both the fiery products have been introduced uh, have been installed in our this sap sap s4 hana system only when it comes to central hub okay these two products will be installed separately uh, you'll have another system same as sap gui you'll have another system where did that go you'll have another system here called sap fiery front end something like that and that product will be installed there so that becomes so you'll have separate fiery system and s4 hana system separately so that will be your see i'll mention it here separate fiery and s4 hana system so you'll have separately you'll have these two things separately so what's the difference so in embedded system the roles when it comes to roles you'll be creating only one single role okay in embedded system so i'll be explaining you i'll be showing you all the things in the embedded system only you will be creating only one role you will go for same pfcg whenever uh, i'll be creating catalog styles and everything and i'll be creating one role and i'll be adding but in central hub what happens is you need to create two set of roles one in front end i mean one in fiery and one is back end as for hana system but the role names will be the same role names will be same and users uh, id assigned if user has to get that access he has to be assigned with both set of roles so that's the main difference between embedded and central hub and usually i can see that mostly people will be using embedded systems only why because the role modifications and creations will get easier uh, there will be no complex structure of roles uh, you have to go there and do everything if you have embedded system you can do it in uh, you can manage the role structure in only one system only if you have central hub you have to manage you have to manage both the set of roles whenever you do anything so that's the reason uh, mostly they prefer embedded but some some use central hub systems also okay uh, yeah oh i think i have covered most of the things as part of overview so from tomorrow i'll start going into technical things i'll be explaining you how to create fiery catalogs first i'll explain you what are different types of applications and uh, we'll be creating each set of uh, one application for each application type will be creating one catalog for each application type so uh, this will be our next task so uh, subscribe to my channel so you will be easily understanding what fiery security is okay thank you thank you and uh, just let me know if you have any doubts just put in them in the comment sections and uh, i'll definitely reach back to you uh
that's it thank you